you know that it's from first damage found. Saves us about $43,000. I did have to push it every time I started it though. It's been like a week since we bought the CGT and I wanna get it up on the lift because to be honest, I feel like we're gonna find a whole bunch of problems on the car and uh, it's almost there. Andy's got this thing up on the lift. We bought the CGT at the gas pump and I've never done that before. Look, 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 look. Look, it's this car. Look at the headlight. Fuck yeah, see, I told what? you. Dude, there's no way. I was the high bidder on this car. Am I gonna be the guy at the gas station that just like goes and just <laughs> harasses the car? It actually drove home quite well. I did have to push it every time I started it though. So, uh, new battery going in, first things first. And the battery is located right in this area behind the wheel. So that's gonna go down. And I've already, on the way home, I've already ordered the new headlights. I want to get these headlights, although these are just painted red. I could have un, you know, done these and repainted them, but the lenses don't look that good. So I've already ordered a set of headlights and we are going to figure out what is next. Today is the day that we're going to take the under panels off. We're going to check the oil. We're going to check through all the things. I've got the oil filter. I've got all the service stuff needed. I've already ordered an exhaust <laughs> that uh, we will be putting in, in um, probably the next video, maybe even this video. I don't really know. Should be here tomorrow. Um, I had a really hard time buying the exhaust and i'm i'm good with josh uh, over at Bowden auto house i don't know what happened i sent him a dm like four times and uh no one ever responded so i ended up finding an exhaust from a company out in the east coast of new jersey called rapasi motor work and they are one of the leaders in working on carrera gt so they have told me that their exhaust which i ordered the stainless version because i'm not a fan of uh, titanium i ordered the stainless version and they have told me that this exhaust is one of the top sounding exhausts on the planet for the CGT and uh, Jimmy, the guy that owns that place, he has worked on over 400 different Carrera GTs, 400 different cars. That's pretty wild. He's actually made a custom clutch upgrade for the car, which I'm able to increase the power on. And uh, I've gone ahead and ordered a few little upgrades for the car as far as suspension and wheels. Uh, I got some HREs coming in, tires, all that good stuff. So as long as the whole car is structured sound we're gonna mod the shit out of this thing so andy without further ado can you uh put her up hmm looks good to hear just a bunch of uh stuff a little damage on the uh under panel here which is no big deal i can, I can take care of that no problem first damage found right here what would you call this andy the back of the rocker pad it's like a yeah but it's like a little insert it's like a mud flap uh we'll have to get a new mud flap Damn. Although the tires have a date code from like 2000 and like, I think it was like 14, I think I saw. Um, that one's 16? Cool. Ah, oh, they're still fine. We'll go out and roast them before we do this. My first look underneath the car. Honestly, it doesn't look like anything's leaking. That's a good sign. This doesn't look like cracked or anything with the carbon. Pretty happy with that. Can't wait to get this exhaust out. That's going to be great. Uh, I don't see anything major. Looking pretty good. Okay, cool. Well, I'm pretty happy with this. I'd like to get this other under panel out and check out the other side. I was kind of concerned because this bumper didn't really fit that good in the back, but it's definitely just an alignment issue. I mean, as far as this, this, this panel is not carbon. The front and rear bumper aren't carbon, apparently. So this uh, here looks looks all good all right last one here we go so honestly not really any damage i was expecting more to be honest with you look at this have you ever seen anything like this Andy? look at these welds dude they got like duck feet or crow feet uh coolant tanks over here a little bit of damage on this air duct right here it's like kind of got some i mean doesn't even look that bad it's like a little crack right there so we put safety wire to hold this joint together okay i like that i like that might want to just order the hose it's not a big deal, but just go order this hose right here. Um, cool. Well, you might have a coolant leak up there. Mm, I think it's more like a coolant leak right here that's going up. Eh, let's not talk about that. We'll anymore. see. It's fine. So overall, besides just the panels and some kind of bullshit, we haven't really taken apart the top of the fenders yet. Andy is going to remove a few things right here so we can get the exhaust out. All right, before we go, we are going to do a clutch measurement. Okay, so you gotta measure in between here. That actually looks pretty good. So we just measured, we're at 29 from here to here. That's a good clutch. That's actually like almost a brand new clutch to be honest with you. So we're all set there. We need nothing on the clutch side. So that's good. Saves us about $43,000. <laughs>
I guess the exhaust is all we need to worry about and the paint. So I've got to figure out what color we're going to paint the CGT. And right now I am on a few different options. I am on a dark green, potentially like a bright color like maybe a red or a special white, somewhat of like a pearly white with something fancy in it. Or I could go standard Houston and do Viola Parsifal. I don't know. I mean, everybody hates that, but I love it. It's because I love it because every single car that I do it to has never been done in that color. So it's so rare. And there is British Racing Green CGTs. There's the baby blue ones. There's white ones. There's red ones. There's even an orange one. So at the end of the day, we got to find something unique. I don't know. I don't mind having like a signature purple on orange. That's pretty cool. We were all sleeping. Andy stayed here all night long and uh, took the whole car apart, which is uh, what Andy does. You know, he lives up there. There's like an area up there that like he has a little bed and he just sleeps. Okay, well, that was a battle. Here's the back. See the other exhaust. So we are awaiting the new exhaust, which uh, FedEx has out for delivery today. FedEx also says that it's in Arizona. Got conflicting statements. <laughs> One of them is right and one of them is wrong. Wow, why would this car have an exhaust that weighs 500 pounds, Andy? Holy shit, absolutely crazy. Anyways, all right, we're on to bigger and better things now. So the car right here had a limp mode failure where this basically was going into boost and then stopping because one turbo didn't work anymore and a little uh, spinny thing inside the turbo, I guess you'd call it a turbine maybe, um, it's not in there anymore. <laughs> so. We need to put a turbo on this car. This car actually goes out literally in a few hours. So that's not gonna happen. We've switched them into the Urus, but as you can see, the Urus is over there, which, oh man, that kind of sucks because the Urus 230 is supposed to go out in replacement of this car. It's the only thing we had left. Luckily, the guy's super tall and it was okay, but I got this Urus and it had a set of aftermarket downpipes on it. And I didn't know that I bought this car at a repo. And so car came doing the PDI right now. We just got the car car yesterday and we are just trying to get this thing on the road ready to go so beer said he can he can handle it, I got it baby. yeah he's, he's got it all right anyways uh we got leaves in the air box so we'll probably clean that out we'll do an oil change real quick he's got two hours and andy probably can put a turbo in that car by the time beer can, can do an oil change in that one we're gonna go to the dyno where we have the green super g Super Ligera on the dyno and Wayne is tuning it right now as we speak. So I want to head up. I want to check on the dyno. I want to feel it. I want to see it. We're just waiting for Nick to get here because once it's done, we're going to drive it back. So that's today. That's a just, that's just today. Oh, let me help Andy with this. Why did you do this to the floors? Don't clean them. I have Zamboni this floor probably 50 times in the last month. And that's not a good idea. You missed a spot over there. Well, And a rear end the Bugatti. So judging by the car right behind me and the absence of the film that's uh, going to pick it up from the dyno, you know that it's broke. So it was on the dyno, it was doing fine, and then we lost a fuel pump. So beer is already uh, halfway into this, pulling the seats out and all the stuff while the girls are enjoying their breakfast or lunch. And we are going to have to get into here. Pumps are in these baskets, so you gotta take all of this stuff out, everything off. This has a uh, Injector Dynamics uh, fuel pump controller that is completely overkill for this car. I want to potentially simplify the system and remove it. There is a lot going on here. So first I gotta get the pumps out and make sure which one's bad because I think it's the one over there, the pump that's on that side. And as soon as we get some of these wires out, we could trigger that and see what the uh, flow and stuff is. Right, Beer? Yay. It's always something, you know? It's always something. I have a, a potential buyer in this car. I've listed this car for $200,000.
and I want to sell it because I don't think I'll ever drive this car. I mean, it's actually really fun to drive, but uh, I'd like to get this fixed on the dyno, ready to roll, so uh, I can show it to the potential buyers. There's uh, three people on the car right now. I listed it on Auto Trader, and well, I'm uh, hoping that we can get that dialed in. So, Beer, how do you how do you feel about getting this done by tomorrow? It'll be done by tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, I know the pumps will be out today. Yeah. And then. Um, like 30 minutes. Yeah, I'll find the uh, I'll find the pumps that I have laying around here somewhere. Oh, they're already here. They're somewhere around here. <laughs> 